Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's me, Christine, again. Okay, I turned the music down, man. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Happy Simply Stream Sunday. I see so many hollows in the chat. Thank you guys for being here if it's your first stream or if it's your second stream, third stream, fourth stream, comment in the chat. What number stream is this for you? If you say higher than seven, then I know you're lying because I've only streamed like, what is this, number seven? So we have uh, a couple announcements before I get into today's stream, which is gonna be really fun where a wheel makes my decisions for me. Uh, but let's go through a couple simply updates. First of all, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy if you're here live. I'm naked and ready. <laughs> Second of all, uh, we have new moderators for this stream other than Ben and my sister. So I'm so excited to welcome uh, Mel and Nail Art, Tall and Hollow Combo, and Procrastination. Procrastination. <laughs> so you'll see them in the chat with um, a little moderator logo beside. So yeah, say, say hello in the chat to the new three mods. I'm so happy to welcome them and I really appreciate their support in helping us uh, keep the chat running smoothly to help you guys out a little bit and to help Ben. <laughs> so in the future, you know, Ben can be on stream a little bit with me. Uh, but yeah, so shout out to the new Simply Mods. They're gonna moderate me. <laughs> ben says we should call them the Hummus Police. Yeah. I'd, I don't, I don't think that's appropriate, Ben. But uh, maybe Ben could be the hummus police, policing the hummus in the fridge. But the Simply Mods, you know. <laughs> so happy, yeah, okay. So if you guys wanna check them out on Instagram, they also go by the same nail account names that you'll see in the chat. So they also have Instagram accounts where they do their own nail art and stuff or have their own nail pages. So you can check them out on Instagram if you would like to do that. So big welcome to the mods, the new mods, and thank you so much for helping me out. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and really good to have some, some hollow help. All right. <clears throat> so today, we are gonna do nails, okay? We're doing nails today. <laughs> wow. So I don't know if you remember, but a year, maybe two years ago, I had a wheel pick my nail art because uh, I couldn't decide what to do. And it was like a physical giant wheel that I would spin. And I, I taped literal nail polish like to the wheel, which yes, that was scary. But you know, with the age of digital technology, you can now have wheel pickers on the internet where you can just enter the options and it'll pick it for you. And I kind of like that idea, just deciding what to do next with my life. <laughs> So yeah, I made a, a wheel picker on the internet and I'm gonna show you guys that. And it's gonna pick my nail polish. So you can follow along today with what the wheel randomly chooses for me, or you can just paint your nails, whatever you want. And if you do, make sure to use hashtag paint with simply so I can check out your manicures after the stream. I love doing that. Whether or not you follow along with exactly what I do, I think it's really fun that we all take this hour or two on Sunday just to chill, paint our nails look at some hollow and talk to each other in the chat. Yeah, who's ready to paint with Simply? <laughs> yes, the chat is on slow mode and subscribers only mode, so you have to be subscribed to chat. We also have this new uh, YouTube feature that we're testing out because YouTube was so cool to ask me to try it out. And you guys have already noticed that there's new brushes on the Holotaka website. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll, I'll uh, show you that for a second. So there's this new feature that I'm trying for YouTube where you can pin products to the chat. So what I'm gonna do is show you what that looks like and then you're gonna test it for me live. <laughs> So right now I'm gonna pin the new thick width brush pack to the chat. So you should see that pop up if you're looking at the live stream feed, as long as you don't have YouTube premium, I believe. 
So you should see the new thick width brush, brush pack, thick width brush pack. Say that 10 times fast because I can't. Um, so we decided to introduce this because lots of you guys were requesting you wanted wider, thicker brushes if you have wider nails because as you know, our, our creme polishes have them. We've started phasing them into new creme polishes, but all of our standard nail polishes like the linear hollows, the toppers, the tacos, they come with the standard skinnier brushes. So now you can buy the thick width and replace them. And you can also buy the Simply Skinny brush pack as well. So that is also available for you to swap out. So whether you prefer the skinnier standard brush, which we're calling the Simply Skinny brush pack, or you prefer the wider creme brush, if you've seen them already in existing Holo Taco creme brushes, you can buy the Thick Width Brush Pack. So we have both options. Whatever size your nail, you can buy a pack of six. I see you guys are getting excited. Who's team Simply Skinny or who's team Thick Width? <laughs> Time will tell, the analytics will tell. Maybe I'll let you guys know in the future. Uh, personally, I prefer, it depends on what I'm using. Like I have very narrow nails, so I find the thinner ones have worked out for me, but we were listening to customer requests and lots of people wanted the thicker ones, especially with creme polishes when you're trying to just get even coverage for a creme polish. But I see the need for it in like a linear hollow polish and other full color, full coverage colored polishes. So it's kind of up to you. And I think we just wanted to offer that option. So yeah, it's finally here. And now we're testing it out on this feature. So if you're watching on your phone on mobile, you should be able to click the pin product and still see me talk. You can shop with Simply. It's like the, the hollow shopping channel. <laughs> Move over the shopping channel. Move over QVC. <laughs> this is the only way to shop hollow. So yeah, uh, if you're if you're looking for more information on the brushes themselves, there's some pictures on the website that show you the difference between the thick and the skinny, the thick and the thin of it. But uh, yeah, it opens to a new tab. Okay, cool. I'm seeing immediate feedback from you guys. That's pretty cool. And just another note, you won't see it if you're on YouTube Premium. So if you're just on like regular YouTube, then you'll be able to see it. You could, if you're on YouTube Premium, um, you could just you could go to the holotaco.com website to see it. But yeah, so I'm so happy you guys are excited about this new product. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing today, chat? Let me read my own YouTube title. All right, we are letting a wheel pick my nail art because I'm bad at making decisions. And with so many different possibilities these days, sometimes I'm just, you know, running out of ideas because I get overwhelmed with too many choices. So let's let a wheel pick my nails. So let me just show you my screen. Whoop. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's get some music on. Okay, so the first steps first is you need a base coat, or maybe you don't, depending on what the wheel decides for you, or if you wanna raw dog it, as uh, Hassan has said. So we're gonna spin the wheel <laughs> and see what, see what we get. We have long lasting base, smoothing base, peely base, or no base, nakey. Let's hope it doesn't land there. <laughs> Ready? So all I do is click and then it just lands. See, look, no hands. <laughs> Peely, it's Peely. We have a winner. It's Peely Base. Everybody, it's Peely Base, okay. So now. Thank you, Drew Silva, for subscribing to the channel. So now I have my Peely Base here which is for exactly what it sounds, which is peeling off your manicures. And I think Ben now is going to test pinning something if Ben wants to also help me test test the, all the things. So yeah, if you would like to paint along with me with this randomized selector, then I totally invite you to. If you wanna go on this random journey, this adventure with me, uh, 
be uh, feel free to use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can check out your manicure at the end of the stream. So this is Peely Base and as self-explanatory as it sounds, it's where you paint it on as a base coat so you can peel off whatever manicure you put on afterwards. I find it depends on the user, like who's gonna want this type of base coat. I think the average person who just wants to wear nail polish for as long as possible probably isn't gonna, gonna wanna wear Peely Be Peely Be wow, I can't even speak anymore. Peely Base. <laughs> But um, I use it all the time. I know a lot of nail artists and swatchers use it all the time because it's really easy to pop off nail polish, nail art, so you can save it in your peely bag. Or even if you've, if you're if you wearing a lot of glitter polish and you find it's really hard to get off, using a peely base under thick glitter polish makes it really easy to pop off. So it kind of depends on you and the manicure you're doing, what is right for you. So let's go ahead and slap slap that on. I'm so happy the wheel didn't pick uh, naked. <laughs> that would be a crime. Anyone watch the last stream? Criminal nail offenses is going naked. <laughs> so I'm gonna do all my nails with this, but I think we're gonna do a little bit of combo options where I'll, I'll do a different nail with a different uh, different wheel generator streak. But let's just paint this on first. So Peely Base just goes on clear and you let it dry just like any base coat, like five minutes or so. You can kind of tell when a base coat's dry, kind of absorbs a bit. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see this green right here? That's acrylic paint. That's what I get for painting over my mouse pad. <laughs> Don't paint over your mouse pad. Yes, this is a mouse pad. We don't sell mouse pads. I'm sorry, I know I get this question a lot in the chat. <laughs> I'm just a gamer, you know? With all those, uh, all that Fortnite that I play. Sorry, let's see if I can adjust my lighting a little bit. There, a little bit more color accurate. Mm. Did anyone see that Jim swim? Jim, Jim can't swim, the guy who's behind, uh, or the team that's behind the JCS Psychology channel. He tweeted out, if you follow him on Twitter, that he was like so happy to see a bunch of people, including me, reviewing or sharing his um, his psychology videos on YouTube, but suggested that maybe it was his stuff was taken down and then he deleted the tweet and I'm very confused. <laughs> but I really hope his, his channel's gonna stay up because I love that stuff. If anyone has any information on what happened there, <laughs> If anyone is in contact with Jim Can't Swim, please let me know. What's on my other hand? Ooh, good question. <laughs> uh, the exact same thing that was on my hand last week because I haven't changed my nails. So here's a testament to how long my nail polish can last when I use, I think I might've used smoothing base, but oh, we have a feature munchy hair. Yeah, I just have this kind of random manicure on my other hand. I've got one coat black, full charge linear hollow, purple with envy multi-chrome and another full charge here. So I've had this on for a week. All right, we're still let it, uh, letting this dry. I'll just check out the chat while we wait for Peely Base to dry. Did you guys see me join in on the chat on Julian's stream? What was that, two, two nights ago, three nights ago? I, I don't know time anymore. But uh, Julian, Julian Solomita was on Twitch, his Twitch channel, and I just hopped in the chat <laughs> just randomly, unexpectedly. <laughs> I don't have a Twitch channel. I mean, I made one just like so I could talk. 
but I don't have anything on there. But uh, I was <laughs> was chatting, and then he was probably like, "Is this actually simply analogical, or is this just some random person with a fake name?" <laughs> so Ben let him know that it was actually me, and then we had some fun. I was somewhat coaching him through the stream chat, but it was a good time. He did a very good manicure, if I do say so. And he picked the shades himself, so. <laughs> His Holo Taco collection is, I mean, I, I guess I sent them to him, so I would know what his collection is, but I'm pretty impressed at the way he stores it. So it's, it's pretty cool. Anyways, I thought that was so fun. I really hope to, in the future, maybe collaborate a bit more with people who are interested in doing some like live nail painting streams. Binging with Babish collab, Christine uh, suggested in the chat. What would that look like? <laughs> Paint nails and then bake cake. <laughs> oh my God. Subscriber count, uh, 2.8 something as it has been for like a year. <laughs> I still have the sub goal of I will cut my hair on stream if we hit 3 million subscribers on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you're watching this. Thank you. I know most of you are already subscribed. That's why you're able to chat. But it's always great to show your support to subscribe. And then we can maybe get to 3 million and maybe I will cut my hair. <laughs> Candy corn nails. What, what are you saying? What are you talking about? <laughs> See, my nails are already painted. I don't need the next step. <laughs> so in case you're new here, um, yeah, my nails are yellow because I'm actually just really dirty. I never wash my hands. And so this is what happens. <laughs> okay, the peely base is dry. And I can tell just by doing a gentle tap, Ooh, it's dry. It's like shiny, but it's dry. So we're gonna go on to the next wheel. The wheel of hollow. So the next wheel is the base polish. We gotta pick what type of polish we're doing next because there's so many options. And uh, I couldn't figure out how to load pictures on this one without just confusing it even more. So let's spin. And then we'll explain. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Multi-chrome or go home. All right, so multi, metallic. Who programmed this? <laughs> okay, it's multi-chrome. I don't know why I said that. It's my bad. Oh no, it, it landed on metallic. Am I dumb? Okay, we're, we're gonna do this again. I don't, the wheel is broken. <laughs> Guys, the wheel is broken. <laughs> Uh, boring creme. Okay, boring creme is the winner. All right, I mean, you know, I got to do what it says. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to open the cremes wheel. And I have the hollow taco cremes on here. We have so we have a lot of cremes. What's what's going on here? <laughs> and we're going to see uh which hollow taco creme is, is it gonna be? Oh, the floor is guava. Does anyone get that pun? Do you guys remember like the floor is lava? That meme on the internet? Well, you know, that's what inspired this. The floor is guava. There we go. Um. I'm, I am having issues with this macro lens, like not being vibrant enough. Like the color looks way, <laughs> I know we've been through this before. If you've been on this stream, I'm still figuring it out, but I feel like anything with neon pigment in it doesn't come through as, as well under this kind of lighting. You can see it a little bit better in this camera, but uh, yeah, there you go. It really depends on the source of lighting. The floor is guava is like kind of a neon-y, in between red and pink, corally, coral kind of creme. 
And so what I'm going to do is first get a black napkin <laughs> and cover this so, so I don't keep messing it up. I need hollow taco napkins. Team, if you're watching this, that's the next priority. <laughs> So the Flores Guava is one of our recent uh, new crumbs from the Life's a Beach collection. And just to have some variety, I'm not going to do every single nail. So that way we can do a few different combinations today. It's like I'm really interested in what the wheel is going to pick. Like what am I going to put on top of this? Oh, here's a here's a wide brush. The Simply Thick brush. Sorry. There you go. So for me, I find the, the width of the wider brush is like the same width as my pinky nail. So that's pretty wide if you have narrower nails. I have very narrow nails. They just, I think they my nails look bigger than they actually are. Uh, Nick Hates Everything asks, which new creme is selling the best so far? I think it's the Flores Guava. I want to say the it's the Flores Guava. Yeah. That or Seafoam Home. Is if you like mint, Seafoam Home is definitely a winner. So while, um, just so I don't waste time here, we're going to pick another, another polish for another nail. Cause we're gonna do all the options. We're gonna do every single one. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh! Hollow glitter? We have a winner, it's hollow glitter. And yes, I see some people asking about the wheels. I'm gonna see if I can make them available publicly after this stream. I just have to make sure they were saved properly. Um, I just have them like preset for me here, but after the stream, I'm gonna see if I can, cause it's kind of fun. All right, so these are our hollow glitters. Our hollow glitters that we have right now. <laughs> we need more, right? Like, I think we need more than, we need more. But party punch it is. Why is this so fun? <laughs> so here is party punch. She's a bright pink neon neon ish like i'd say a neon hollow glitter as far as neon glitters make any sense but it's a uh, our glitter formula is like super packed with three different sizes of holographic glitters 100 percent pure hollow maybe no fake hollow and definitely no silver glitters that aren't hollow i hate that <laughs> only eight percent of the population can tell the difference but you know you know who you are and that it's important i just made up that stat that doesn't exist Xyler, I know. Yeah, the wheel didn't pick Xyler, rude. All right, so going in with some party punch, which is good for me because I'm wearing Peely Base under this, which will make it easier to pop this off later. While we're here, I'm just gonna do a second coat of the Flores Guava. Usually our crimes are two to three coats, unless it's one coat black. Let's check out another wheel I have. I think let's let's do Ben Ben brings drink. What do we say about that? Huh? 
What should Ben bring me? We've got oat milk, seltzer, tea, or water. Let's see if the wheel knows what to do. This is the ultimate test. Uh! Ah! Oh my god, what the? What? <laughs> it, I swear it looked like it was on tea. Oh, okay. But Ben? Ben, you gotta bring me seltzer. Sorry, headphone users, if I just screamed that one. <laughs> All right, well, we, <laughs> while we wait for Ben to bring me seltzer. <laughs> Why is he so funny? <laughs> oh shit, there he is. Ben! Wow, well, that was fast service. Are you, are you just, you're downstairs. <laughs> I got you, girl. I got so, look, it's literally the same seltzer. <laughs> this is the first time Ben does not bring me tea. I, I mean, like, is this a live stream fail or what? <laughs> I, I demand a new wheel. That's right, Sarah. <laughs> oh, if you guys have never heard of this drink, it's because it's a local Ottawa company. I think it, it literally says, I love this city under it, which means Ottawa. <laughs> I don't think you can get these anywhere, anywhere else, so. But yeah, it's just like a water yuzu mandarin seltzer. Ah, wonderful. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll spin again because I'm going to need tea. <laughs> R.I.P. tea. While we get some, um, <laughs> some condolences for the tea in the chat, I'll paint the second coat of party punch. All right, so just going back in with code number two, a party punch. And yes, I could use a cleanup brush and I normally do, but sometimes when the nail polish is still wet, a quick hack is just to take like the end of a cuticle pusher tool and then just wipe it off. It's kind of easier. If you don't have your cleanup brush lying around, mine is not right here at the moment. Uh, Emily A asks, did Xyler sales go up after last week's stream? Yes, they did. <laughs> Pardon me, I just drank a seltzer. The seltzer's not a good idea for stream, Ben. <laughs> Too much bubbly. Um, yes, but Xyler, Xyler sales did increase. Thank you guys. Uh, I also don't mean to guilt anyone <laughs> into purchasing Xyler unless you want Xyler. If you want an orange hollow polish and maybe you've just overlooked Xyler. This is Xyler for those who missed last week's stream. If maybe you've just overlooked Xyler and you've decided you know, maybe you like orange. It's a great color for fall. It's kind of this like rusty orangish hollow glitter. So yeah, thank you guys for <laughs> supporting Tyler. <laughs> I think that's funny. Yeah, so the wheel didn't need to choose it. Because you guys chose it last week. Okay, next wheel, next wheel. Let's go. No more seltzer. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go back to the base polish options. So we're gonna do my next nail in line. We'll do my middle finger. Huh. Boring creme. Congratulations, you've got a boring creme. Imagine this was like picking my life decisions. Today you're gonna have a boring day. <laughs> Let's see what it's gonna be. What's it gonna be? Oh. Duct tape gray, duct tape gray. Duct tape gray, baby. Yay. <laughs> I love duct tape gray. 
I feel like this is not a popular nail polish color, generally speaking. Um, like it, this isn't a standard color that drugstores want to sell because it looks like wall paint. It looks like uninv uninviting wall paint. Which is exactly why I made it. <laughs> It's like the perfect middle, like medium to light tone gray. It's not really dove gray, it's a bit darker. It's duct tape gray, like exactly duct tape gray. And to color match this, I li literally pulled out a giant um, a block, a block, a wheel of duct tape. <laughs> and I uh, <laughs> cross-referenced the color to make it match perfectly. And did you know that the Pantone colors of the year were a light gray and also a, a banana kind of yellow? So it just so happened that two shades we released earlier this year lined up with the Pantone colors of the year. Although normally that's not something I care about. As it turns out, <laughs> it totally worked. This is banana hacks, but it was not chosen. It's not the chosen one by the wheel. So we're going in with duct tape gray. If, if you're new here and you didn't uh, realize this, these are literally the shade names. Yes, I named this myself. Only I would name a nail polish after duct tape. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go in on the middle nail. Oh, just for example, this is also the wide brush. See, that's, that's the wider, the thicker brushes that you can now buy on their own in our uh, thick width brush pack. Damn, look at that wall paint. If you notice, I'm, um, I'm wrapping the tip like I'm painting underneath, which is very important for preventing chipping of your nail polish. So that's why I always do that. I feel like some people think I'm weird when I'm like wiping it underneath, but it's actually a hack to keep it on for longer, especially if you have nails that go past your fingertips. If your nails are, are uh, too short that your fingertips are still past it, then that's not really um, as necessary since they're not exposed to like tapping on things as much. But. Oh, also, yes, just to clarify, the brushes come in the cap. Like, you literally get this in the mail with, without the nail polish. So you can just pop them right back in um, with the hollow taco cap, with our logo, the soft touch mat, and all that. So you're not, you're not literally popping in any brushes. We're not making you manufacture the brushes. You get, the, you get them with the top, so you can just swap them out. Make it easy for you. Were there any legal issues with naming duct tape gray? So I literally had to look into this. <laughs> so duct tape, no, no, it's duct tape that's trademark, like D-U-C-K, I think, right? Because this is just duct, like D-U-C-T, which is the, just the, the, like the real word to characterize that type of material that is used in a universal way, just like, uh, masking tape versus scotch tape. So masking tape is fine. Duct tape is fine. But duct tape or scotch tape are trademarked, for example. I might have to fact check myself on that, but I think it was duct tape that is the one that's like the, the trademark name. But duct tape is just the descriptor. <laughs> but yeah, good question. These are questions that we have to ask ourselves every time we name a shade name. Is it trademarked? Um, you know, Ben's checking the, the legal. <laughs> so I think I'm good to go in for a second coat. I love gray nail polish. It's just so depressing <laughs> in like a good way. <laughs> Damn. 
I really hope we get a unicorn skin combo over this one because unicorn skin over the gray is wonderful. Oop, I uh, put a little bit there. There we go. Should probably get my cuta or uh, cleanup brush out just in case. I need to clean. All right, back to the wheel. Jen Sten says, when is the new collection coming out? Soon. <laughs> At the end of the month. At the end of our anniversary month, <laughs> which is July. I'll let you guess the date. <laughs> it's coming soon. Uh, I've been working on it for a while now. I mean, I've been shooting like all the pictures and stuff leading up to it, so it's almost time. I'm spilling nail polish, which if you follow my Snapchat and Instagram, you know that means the time is coming soon. Christine is getting in all the work at, you know, at the latest possible point before the deadline. <laughs> all right, so let's pick, pick again. What type of polish are we doing on the next nail? We've got a, oh, something different, something new. A multi-chrome, yes. I'm glad we're getting the variety. I was worried that the wheel would, uh, you know, just give me all the same thing. <laughs> that would not be good. So these are our, our currently only five multi-chromes we have on Hollow Taco. Would you guys like more? Let me know. Blue Ain't Slick is the winner. Blue Ain't Slick if you don't use multi-chrome nail polish. That doesn't make sense. So multi-chrome nail polish, in case you live under a non-hollow rock, is where it shifts colors depending on the light. Um, uh, so you can you can kind of see in this side of the bottle see how it's turning a bit purple but then in the direct light in front of the camera it's more like a blue it depends on the angle of the light and what type of light uh, you're under and they're kind of chromey shifty it's like car paint if you've ever been into cool color changing cars that's why I love multi-chromes, because that's what they remind me of. All right, so we're going in with Blue Ain't Slick. First coat, I generally recommend three coats for multi-chromes. The first two to build coverage, and then the last one just to like make the streaks perfect. Because there it's like a chromey pigment, so you can see the brush streaks a little easier with this type of polish. Ben says, let's get a multi-chrome car. What do you, do you think I want to spend my money on a, on a car? <laughs> okay, yeah, next video, uh, simply buys a Lambo. All right, I think we should pick a fun wheel. How about, which cat? <laughs> which cat should I make Ben deliver to me on stream? <laughs> I've only got two cats, so there's only two options. Who's it gonna be, Menchi or Xyler? Xyler! Xyler, you are the winner. You were the winner last week. You're the winner this week. Look look at this king. This is King Xyler, everybody. Xyler's happy he got picked first and not last. <laughs> All right, I uh, await the Xyler delivery. We'll put, put it on full screen. 
Thank you, Narvana Cat. Gat? Oh, that's a cat. For subscribing to the channel. Xyler has been saved. Thank you, Cinderella. <laughs> oh my god. Xyler's here. You don't have to save Xyler anymore. Xyler is saved. Xyler is saved. <laughs> Xyler, do, do you have anything to say? You want to sit on the couch? Oh, he left. I tried. I would love it if my cats would just sit on this couch behind me and then I could get a cat cam, get another camera and just stick it on them <laughs> and have it in the corner. Except they don't just sit there. They move around too much. They're not like dogs, you know? They don't listen when I say stay. Uh, but I'll translate cat if you didn't hear what Xyler just said he said uh, I'd like to thank my fans I'd like to thank everyone who's shown support for my polish and uh, you know he's he's got you in his heart <laughs> all right back to painting a second coat of blue ain't slick yeah Xyler Xyler or -er. Menchi and Xyler both my cats all cats they listen but they just choose not to react, you know? They know exactly what they want. Uh, they know exactly what I want them to do, like sit on the couch. And then they're just like, no, I'm not gonna do that, mom. All right, there's coat two. Of blue ain't slick. Look at this manicured. Like, what? what is going on? You know, I kind of like it. It's kind of random, but it's it's perfectly random so far. But this is kind of a, a good example of some differences in finishes. We've got two cremes. We've got a hollow glitter and a multi-chrome. All we were missing is a linear hollow or a metallic foil. We'll see if the if the wheel gives us that option next. Next wheel, please. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna, what's my future? <gasps> yeah, we have a winner, Linear Hollow. Guys, we are getting variety today. We have everything except uh, metallic. All right, Linear Hollows. We have a lot of them. <laughs> As I was making these wheels, I was like, damn. We have a lot of Linear Hollows because um, we released the Electric Hollows collection uh, not too long ago, so we added another five, and then we had the rainbow, the pastel rainbow linear hollows earlier this year, and then the OG rainbow linear hollows, hollows last year. Um, so yeah, we have a lot, but that's because they're one of our, our top selling formulas, top performing formulas. You guys love them just because they're super easy to work with, and it's simple. Like you just paint this on your nails, you, you don't need a hollow topper or all these toppers. So if you're just kind of like, just give me, you know, simple one to two coat hollows, depending on the shade. And you want to sparkle rainbows in a variety of colors and like a uniform finish. The linear hollows are, they're good. Also, when you like perfect a formula, you want to make more of it, you know? <gasps> oh, electrostatic. Black hollow, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this is fun. So here's electrostatic, which is our black linear hollow. One of my personal favorites and one that I know you guys were so excited for. It's like as black, as dark as we could make it, but also as hollow. Because if you make it too dark, you can't see the rainbows, so you kind of have to balance it. So I'm very proud of this, this one. And um, I, yes, to answer some questions I saw in the chat, we are not doing any more linear hollows for the rest of the year. We're moving on to other formulas, but uh, I'm happy that we got all of, we now have like a really good assortment of a, a good range of colors of the linear hollows, except white hollow. 
I know I see you guys asking for that. White Hollow is like a, a unicorn. It's really hard to do and it's hard to explain because they always end up gray. Although we still need a gray hollow, so good point. And then we have um, we have Circuit Breaker, which is a silver hollow, which is like the, the purest of linear hollows. That makes sense. It's like basically the pure linear hollow pigment without any, any colorants in it. Uh, so if you whiten this with like a white polish, it's gonna dull it and make it dirty. So you can't just add white to this. And if I'm not making sense, it's because it, you know, the science behind it is quite confusing. And I've asked our product developers and chemists this before. It's very challenging. You might end up having to make more of a scattered or like a, a crelly, which is like a creme mixed with a jelly base. But it's, it's, a, it's a huge challenge. It's not as easy as just to like make this but white. Because if you just add white to this, like if you try to yourself, if you threw in some not milky white, it's just gonna dull the hollow. Anyways, back to electrostatic. We're gonna paint that on. Laura C got her first hollow taco order yesterday. I hope you love it, Laura. Don't forget to tweet or Instagram hollow taco, hashtag hollow taco, so our team can see. I can look it up too. I love seeing what you guys order and what combos you come up with. All right, so this is electrostatic, which is very pigmented. Generally speaking, if it's a dark polish, it's easier to make it super pigmented in one coat. If it's like a lighter pastel color, you're, you're for sure gonna need at least two coats. Paint the tip, get the black under there. There we go. Woo. You guys are asking for brown hollow? Damn, just when I thought we came out with enough linear hollows that we didn't need any more shades. Now you want brown hollow, huh? Okay, I'm adding it to my list. <laughs> All right, let's do another wheel. I think I want some tea. Let's hope I get tea. <laughs> no! Come on, you gotta be kidding me. No, I, re I reject this. I reject this result. I already have my seltzer. <laughs> we're, we're spinning again, ma'am. <laughs> if you guys could make a wheel. Oh. Ah! T! It's T! Ban! Ban! You know what to do. Bring me the tea, because the wheel said so. And if we're following the rules, I guess he also has to bring me another seltzer, but. <laughs> I'll paint on the second goat. Um, if you guys could make a wheel for anything in your lives, what would you want it to help you make decisions with? Like, uh, maybe what games to play on your phone, what courses to take in university. What program to take in university? What dog breeds, what, clo what clothes, what fit to wear? Yeah, I, I need that one except all mine would be the same. It would just say sweatpants, pajama pants and hoodies. Those are my options. What other ideas? 
what to wear, what, what to eat. Oh my God, yes, what to eat. I hate deciding what to eat. Ben asks me, like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, I don't know. And then he'll make a suggestion and I'll say no. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> Boyfriends, a wheel to, how many options do you have? <laughs> Imagine being like, you know what, Mr. or whoever in your DMs, let me just spin my wheel, make the decision easy for you. Will you be in my future? Let's find out on this episode of Spin the Wheel to Choose My Future Partner. <laughs> Oh, you like my cleanup brush? I know it's not out yet, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I know. I'm using prototypes that don't even exist on the website. Um, we're changing it. Like, that's not even going to be what it's what it looks like. But I got to test the, sh the stuff before I sell it. But it's working really well. And now you guys will have live stream evidence. You can go back in the archives and see that I've been testing products for long. Super skinny tip. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about things that don't exist yet. It's, you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> okay, right now I have all my nails painted with one of the options that we picked. We've got, um, Floors Guava Creme Party Punch Hollow Glitter Duct Tape Gray Creme Blue Ain't Slick Multichrome and Electrostatic Linear Hollow. Ooh. Why do I stare at this myself? I'm like, I know what it looks like, but I'm always amazed. <laughs> uh, before we go to the next wheel, Little Weird Nail Art asks, okay, real talk simply, given the occasion at the Hollow Taco competitions, do you decide the topics and the winners alone? Or are there several people involved? Good question. Oh my God, I should never drink seltzer. This was a mistake. I'm gonna need to put this aside. Ben, take your seltzer. And where's my tea? The chat says, where's my tea? I need tea. <laughs> um, okay. Good question. There is a social media team that absolutes, absolutely helps me come up with topics like the themes, especially when COVID or quarantine first started. We did a nail art competition theme every month for like seven months or something. So there was like a unicorn theme and a cat's theme and all different themes. So the team helped me come up with those, but I contribute to like what I want to see. And for competitions where it's more obvious what the theme is like our anniversary, um, or if, if it was my birthday and we did a, a nail art challenge, those are, those themes are kind of obvious. Um, but the winners, so because there are so many entries, my team helps me narrow down some of them, but I truly do go through like the Instagram hashtags or the Twitter hashtags myself. But because we are hosting the competition across three different platforms, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, it is kind of impossible for, for me to evaluate every single one especially if there's like thousands of entries so my team will look through them find some of some like really promising ones some creative ones because it's definitely the creativity that we're looking for um all, like talent's great too but the creativity oh my god there's so many amazing like creative people with like peelies coming off and cool designs <gasps> we've got some tea london fog for you london fog or vanilla bean something Vanilla bean something. Bullshit. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sure if I fully answered that question. Um, I do have the final decision on the winners, though, if that was your question. Can I have the seltzer? Yes, you can have... Please take the seltzer. I don't <laughs> want it anymore. <laughs> what, what? Do you remember what tea this was? The chat's asking. Vanilla something? Vanilla bean black tea. He's trying to keep me awake tonight. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I got a stream, baby. Stand up, girl. Vanilla bean, more like vanilla ban. That's what 
that's right. <laughs> We're streaming all hours. I will be streaming for 12 hours now. Moderators, is that okay? <laughs> Just kidding. They didn't know what they signed up for. <laughs> all right, what's next, everybody? What's next? We're gonna do some toppers. So we're gonna pick um, a topper for my floor is guava nail. And here we have all the different hollow taco toppers. Hollow taco toppers. Fun fact, if you're new to my, me and my life and the way I speak, the brand name hollow taco was named after my strange ability to not pronounce top coat clearly. Maybe it's the Canada in me, I don't know, but like five years ago in my voiceovers, I would just say, now I'm gonna add a hollow top coat, hollow top coat, hollow taco, hollow taco, hollow taco. And eventually it just start, started to sound like taco and people started writing in the comments. Uh, why is she saying taco? And when I saw that comment, I literally just started saying taco just to troll people to see if they would notice. I was like, I guess it sounds like I say taco. <laughs> so ever since that, like five years ago, I started saying hollow taco, glossy taco, deliberately instead of top coat, even though I know how to say top coat. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's how the brand name hollow taco came to be. Cause I can't speak. <laughs> uh, yes, the last year anniversary toppers are not on here. We had a trio. That's because they're sold out. They were a limited edition. They are not coming back. That's how it works. So these are our current uh, line of toppers. We have unicorn skins, which we have six of now, which you may think like, why do I need six different iridescent toppers? Oh no, no, no. You need to, you need to see the difference on the nail. They, it absolutely matters. There is a difference. And then we have three different classic, um, true silver holographic toppers that look different on the nail and kind of like spread the hollow differently depending on on the, the formula. So there's flaky, scattered, and linear, which is just a very descriptive word used in the nail polish land to describe the type of hollow. Violet says you have the same birthday as my sister and last year she had a banana cake and I got her hollow taco. That literally, is that my life? That sounds like my life. <laughs> Happy birthday to your sister. Uh, Auto Tune says, if you pronounce top coat right, what do you think the name for your brand would be? Oh my God, I don't know. So you mean I'd have to come up with something else that isn't my mispronunciation? I, I never wanted to call it like nail polish by simply nail logical. Cause that's just, obnoxious <laughs> nails by simply and that's just another good reason why i didn't want to do just like simply nail polish is because that's so standard and basic and not unique and you need to think about those things in the long term in terms of like brand recognition any suggestions for what i should have named my nail polish line <laughs> why are we having this conversation <laughs> what do you think that's that's i mean like that's kind of interesting I'm gonna shop on whatdoyouthink.com. You know, you never know. Maybe I, I start something new in the future. <laughs> All right, let's spin the wheel. Which topper, taco, unicorn skin are we gonna put on Flores Guava? Oh, I like this combo. I know what I know what it's gonna look like, but you guys may not. So that's why this is even more fun. So we've got Lunar Unicorn Skin, which is like moon rocks, but we have them at an affordable price. <laughs> so <laughs> unicorn skins are very difficult to describe because even though this looks like yellow or gold in the bottle, it changes depending on which color you put it over. So if I put this over black, it's gonna look very different than if I put it over white. And uh, if I had extra swatch to actually, you know what? Maybe I'm just gonna demo that just in case anyone's new here. Let me, let me simply teach you just to give you an idea. 
of the magic of the unicorn skins. Kaylin says, love that you're doing lives now. Thank you, Kaylin. I'm having so much fun too. I used to think I would never do lives because I'm like, oh my God, I'm just gonna be screwing up for two hours straight. <laughs> but you know, maybe I only screw up for a couple minutes. So I'm just painting on not milky white. This is also a demo of our creme polishes. <laughs> and one coat black. I'm gonna show you, wow, what, what am I doing? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how unicorn skins look different over different uh, colors. Just cause I feel like that is something that's so fascinating about iridescent toppers that is hard to appreciate just by looking at a picture or like by looking at it in the bottle. Janelle Lennon, are we doing a different topper on each nail? Oh my God, we live dangerously. I know, right? And we're doing it live. So it's like double the danger. <laughs> I don't know what the heck my nails are gonna look like after this, like what is gonna happen? So while I let uh, this dry, let's just go in with Lunar, which was voted by the wheel, not voted, selected. This is not a democracy, this is a wheelocracy. Lunar's gonna go over the floor is guava, which is gonna really bring it to life like a tropical drink. Wow. Hold on, let me get you a little close up. So there. Oh my God, I, I apologize for my seltzer. Um, so yeah, that's Lunar Unicorn Skin over the floor is guava. And they kind of, the flakes kind of shift in the light as well. They look really good in the shade outside. But yeah, it's just, it adds like a nice little sparkle to a boring creme. <laughs> and it just gives like a bit of iridescent dim dimension. Iridescent kind of means like see-through cellophane maybe is like a, an object that you might recognize like cellophane that you get like in a gift wrap or something where you can see through it, but then it also shifts in color. So maybe it's pink to blue or maybe it's yellow to red or something, but it's at its core transparent so you can see through it. So that's where the iridescent flakies kind of are. You know, it's a, it's unicorn skin ground up is actually the, the scientific term. Right, I'm just gonna go back and Give my white a second coat here. I don't need two coats of black, but I do it anyways on uh, clear swatch sticks just to smooth it out a little bit. Cause I find sometimes the swatch sticks like aren't smooth ironically. <laughs> they just need more paint layered on them. It's like the plastic mold isn't perfect or something. All right, who wants to play the piano? Uh, Michelle Rock says, question, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh my God, does this mean Ben has to get it for me? <laughs> uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, but I also really like mint chip, but then I also really like gold medal ribbon. And then I also <laughs> really like mixing them all together. <laughs> Garbage ice cream bowl, please. <clears throat> all right, let's pick the next shade. The topper that's gonna go over um, party punch.
So, uh, hold on. Let me just go back to this to explain where we're at. We are at uh, Hardy Punch, which doesn't need a topper, really, because it's like already a very sparkly hollow glitter. But we're living dangerously here, so I have to choose something. I suppose I should have added, actually, here, nothing. There you go. Oh, <laughs> the danger category. Now we have n no topper as an option. <laughs> That's like the only one that I would have wanted it to land on for party punch because it actually it doesn't need a topper. I I did not plan that. That that wasn't a live stream fail. That was a live stream win. So yeah, we will be adding nothing to party punch. <laughs> That's funny. How about we do another cat wheel? Menchie, Zyler, or <laughs> get me a new cat. <laughs> that means we have to get a new cat, okay, Ben? Guys, you saw this live and in person. It's not rigged. Ben Tendo says no. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're getting a new cat. What should we name it? Comment in the chat <laughs> what we're naming our new cat. <laughs> This is what happens when uh, you live stream with me. All right, I'm just waiting for Ben to come up the stairs with my new cat. Imagine this is how I announced like that we got a new cat. <laughs> you should name your new cat after a nail polish. Imagine I like named my cat Green Taffy or something or Hydro Power. That's kind of a cool name for a cat. Electrostatic. <gasps> Electro. Oh, I want a new. Uh, if I got a black cat and named him Electro, cute. Taco. I love the name Taco. And then we could get a fourth cat and name that one Hollow. You guys are bad. I'm bad. This wheel's bad. This game is bad. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pick another topper now. I'm still waiting for my new cat, but you know, I didn't say how soon we were getting a new cat. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, let's pick the next topper to go over duct tape gray. Ooh, ooh, Aurora Unicorn Skin. Nice pick. Here we have Aurora Unicorn Skin. She is fancy. She is from the future. She is from the galaxies. And uh, we put her in a bottle. So Aurora Unicorn Skin kind of shifts between uh, purple and blue but again it kind of depends which color you put it over I'd say it is between in case you are wondering for comparison purpose purposes it is between uh, cosmic unicorn skin which leans more pink and sonic unicorn skin which leans more blue which is hard to tell in the bottle and is easier to tell on the nail I'm gonna demo that in a second but for now, let's just put on Aurora over duct tape gray. Everyone's still commenting <laughs> cat names in the chat. Save me your ideas. Aurora is your favorite unicorn skin, says Kristen. I feel like it, it yeah, I think it's one of the top selling unicorn skins. It was in um, the original launch of our, our first unicorn launch. Wow. 
Oh, see? I'm definitely gonna get some be some better pictures on my iPhone that are like a little more macro than this camera's willing. Oh, okay there, I'm getting a little closer. So in some lights, you kind of see it looking a little like pinked, uh, slightly pink, but then in others, you see the purple and the blue. It's really beautiful. <gasps> and I hope the wheel picks a matte taco over this one because matte with the unicorn skins over gray. Oh my God, so nice. <laughs> A nice combo picked by the random wheel. Um, you could also dab on unicorn skins with a makeup sponge, uh, you know, one of these sponges. Don't use a makeup sponge that's expensive. Like don't use a beauty, don't use a $20 beauty blender, <laughs> but like the triangle makeup sponges you can use. And yeah, you can dab it on to make it more saturated or like more opaque. Do you guys want to demo that? Okay, we'll demo. Cause this is a nail channel. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. So with the iridescent unicorn skins, like you don't have to dab it on, but if you want maximum coverage, you can do a little dab, make your nail fab. And dabbing it on is kind of a hack you can use with hollow glitter as well just to get the most concentrated uh, of the pigments on the nail because the sponge will absorb the liquid. So it's kind of like a nail hack brought to you by Simply Not Troom Troom. So just load the polish, the, the topper, the glitter, whatever it is on the sponge. Then the, the jelly, like the clear part of the polish will absorb into the sponge a little bit. And then you're gonna dab it on. Now what I should have done is put on protective peel to protect my skin, but I'm gonna live dangerously. And we're just gonna do, do, just be careful not to get it directly on my, uh, on my skin. Just gonna reload a little bit. Dab, 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 make your nails bad. So yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, using like a liquid latex around your nail just so you don't get it all over your skin, but I'm being very careful and then you can get a much more concentrated, concentrated unicorn skin. The options are endless. They're up to you or the wheel. <laughs> All right, I wanted to show you this. So I just want to explain for the benefit for the eyeballs of everyone, just how different a unicorn skin can look depending on which color you put it over. So I'm just taking Lunar Unicorn Skin, which looks yellow in the bottle. And I'll put it over black. So you see it kind of looks greenish, like a glowing green yellow. And you can really see it over black, like what the heck? Like that came out of this, what? <laughs> but if I put it over white, you'll never be able to guess. Guess which color, guess what you're gonna see. I'm gonna see if you're right or wrong. We'll see how many of you know the hollow. So you're guessing pink, blue, purple, pink, green, blue, yellow, pink. I'm seeing up mostly pink. <laughs> I love this game. I'm gonna quiz you guys after the stream. Okay. There's a munchy hair. All right, let's see what it looks like over white. So this is the same topper. What? What is, what is going on? 
Why, why does this fascinate me? I spent my I, I dedicate my life's work to investigating this science. <laughs> so that was the same topper, lunar, lunar unicorn skin, which looks yellow in the bottle. And it comes out yellow, green on black, but like cyan pink over white. It looks like icing sugar. Wow. Everyone is dead in the chat. How does this work? Yeah, I don't know. Scientists don't know. They haven't figured it out, uh, but they've contracted me to help them. So <laughs> I'm doing experiments every night in my bedroom. So we'll do a second one just for fun. And I really want to do, um, should we do Sonic? I want to do Sonic. So Sonic looks very blue in the bottle. Actually, no, let's do Aurora. We'll keep it simple. So Aurora is kind of that pink, purple. It is one of our top selling unicorn skins. So might as well show you guys why I suppose. And it over black is gonna look like, hold up a second, like this. Which ones, which one do you guys like better? Aurora or Lunar? So uh, Aurora kind of turns out bluish purple, like a galaxy, just one, that's not nail art by the way, that's literally just painting on one, one coat. And then we'll paint it over white, but it's not gonna turn out what you think over white. It's gonna be like the opposite of what you think. Let's see if you can guess what is Aurora gonna look like over white. I need Jeopardy music that isn't copyright. <laughs> okay, we've got green, yellow, dark, red, yellow, pale yellow. I think, I think most of you guys know. Maybe you already have Aurora. <laughs> Let's demo. So it's a lot softer than lunar because it's a, it's a darker iridescent flake to begin with but it kind of looks like a yellowish green and then you see a little bit of the pink, but it's one of, like, I can't even explain it. Like, what color is that? I don't even know. It's like a softer impact effect. But do you see how they're, they're both so different? Like two unicorn skins look kind of, you know, like light junk in a bottle, <laughs> according to Joe, but they are very different on the nail, especially depending on what color you put it over. All right, so that was a, a lesson. I'm, I'm glad you've all been studying the unicorn skins. You're all gonna ace this test next week. <laughs> oh, my simple little pleasures is here, Colette. She's peeking in. She says, uh, peeking in while I have dinner. Hope you're having a good stream, Christine. Thank you, Colette. Colette is from my simple little pleasures. She is the OG water marble queen of YouTube. She started YouTube like 12 years ago and I remember watching her channel a long time ago when I was trying to learn how to water marble. I still haven't learned, but uh, Colette is amazing. It was her birthday this past week. So happy birthday, Colette. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna complete our mission here. I have too much nail polish on my table. I can't move my mouse. <laughs> we're gonna pick a topper for the blue ain't slick nail. What's it gonna be? Galactic unicorn skin. Yeah. Fun fact, I wanted to name this one like radioactive or something because it's green. So it reminded me of like nuclear radioactive. But then I thought about it for a second and I was like, wait, I don't want to call a nail polish radioactive. <laughs> you know, it doesn't sound safe all of a sudden. These are things I have to think about.
All right, here is galactic. It is green. And over black, it it does look green. Um, it's a very dominant kind of green, but it also looks kind of teal, maybe a little turquoisey over some colors. Yes, Ben, it's like that time I wanted to call a, a nail polish cat's tax evasion, but we ended up calling it cat's evasion because I, we, the team thought it wasn't a good idea if hollow taco tax evasion was a shade name. <laughs> I don't want the IRS or the CRA coming at my door, trying to buy my tax evasion nail polish, think something's wrong. There's nothing wrong with our books. <laughs> All right, just applying, ooh. I stopped mid-sentence because I was fascinated. This is galactic unicorn skin over a multi-chrome, mm, definitely. Uh, an overlooked combination. Is unicorn skin or over multichrome? Because they both shift, but they shift differently in different lights. So no matter what lighting you're in, you're gonna see some something crazy happening. These are the things that entertain me. Shift on shift. Extra. This is this is what I want. It's a combo that's hard to capture in photos, so you're gonna need lots of iPhone videos, phone videos from different angles. You're gonna need to walk outside, you're gonna need to go in your bathroom lighting, you're gonna need to go outside in the shade and the sun. You have to look at it in all the different ways to get the full impact. All right, and I think, uh, where are we? It's only an hour and a half and I'm not done picking my manicure. Mm. Toppers, back to toppers. So we're gonna do our last one over electrostatic, which is a linear hollow. So you don't really need a topper on it, but you could put Oh. This is actually something I wanna try. Solar unicorn skin over a black linear hollow. Damn. This, this I love this exercise. <laughs> so solar unicorn skin is um, like the ground up bits of the sun. <laughs> it's a uh, orange leaning, it's more orange than lunar unicorn skin. And it kind of glows a little bit more like a fiery flame. Unicorns on fire. So I'm really, I've never put this over the black linear hollow, but it actually makes the most sense to put a unicorn skin over a dark linear hollow if you're gonna put it over a hollow at all, because then you can see it more. Because unicorn skin toppers are more obvious over dark shades, like you just saw with the black versus white. So if that, Makes sense. Wow, guys, I'm, I'm curious. The wheel did a great job. I think I'm gonna use the wheel on a daily basis to make my life choices. Let's see. Oh my God, this looks insane. Damn. Okay, the wheel now has permission to select my schedule and my decisions for the next week. This combo is lit. <laughs> so you've got the unicorn skin, uh, like yellow glowing shift, but then you've also got the black linear hollow underneath which will be more obvious when I put it under like a iPhone flash, but it's like you get it all. This is so cool. This looks like outer space. NASA is calling me right now. <laughs> you ever looked in a telescope? You don't need to. This is it right here. So 
So I just realized that the wheel only picked unicorn skins. It did not pick any hollow tacos. <laughs> what can you do? I'm still impressed with these, what we've got here. All right, what else can the wheel do for us today? So we still have to do our toppers, uh, or sorry, our top coat, which is gonna be glossy or matte. But I'm I'm feeling like another cat. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, it deleted the option of new cat. Okay, this time we're gonna get one of our cats not a new one. <laughs> Benji! 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 We are awaiting your arrival, princess! Alright, Ben's gonna bring Menchi up. Benchy baby. Benchy. Careful, there's tea and like drinks and acetone on the table. Benchy. We're, we're baiting her. Benchy, don't freak out like you did last time. Benchy. Come here. Jump. Jump. She's, she's not a dog. <laughs> Benji, come here. Benji, come here. Jump. Up. Up. You gotta help her. She can't figure it out. I feel like she got freaked out. I don't know why, if you saw the live stream two weeks ago, she just like flew away. Oh, Benji, come back. Treats, look. I have a bunch of treats on my desk if she decides to come back. Yeah, I don't know why she's shy. She used to always sit in the background of my videos. I don't know what happened, you know? She's like, mom, I don't want to be exploited anymore for views. <laughs> She is the winner. Now we gotta go to the final step of a manicure, which is the top coat. See, I said it, <laughs> top coat. So we have glossy or matte taco, or no taco, which, which would be a crime. So let's pray for not that option. Glossy taco is shiny. Um, it dries your nails quickly. It keeps your manicure on longer. And most importantly, it will make the hollow or the multi-chrome or the unicorn skins kind of stand out. Like it, it makes them sparkle more to have that layer of gloss over top. So that's kind of the option I want, unless it's a unicorn skin, that also looks good matte. So we're, we're gonna see what we're gonna get here. Let's play. Matt Taco, we have a winner, it's Matt Taco. Oh my God, <laughs> those are cat treats. <laughs> That's not a Matt Taco. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized. We're gonna put the cat treats on a clean napkin and put them on the side for Menchi for when she's feeling better. Oh, Siler, Siler's here too. Siler, I'll give him a treat. Siler. They're not taking the bait today. 
Where did he hit? He threw it. Why don't you come? Come here. Oh. Tyler, come here. What is wrong with them? They can't figure it out. On my lap. Up. On my lap. You, you dingo. Uh, Whovian asks, will this year's anniversary collection be limited edition? Yes, it will be. All of our anniversary collections, I mean, this is only the second one, but they're a special edition. So we're always going to mix up something special that's, that we're going to make limited edition in part because of the composition of the products and you'll see why it'll make sense later, but yes, it, it will be. And she's like behind my computer. If you would like a treat, you gotta come here. It's really not that complicated, kids. Come here. Okay, I think we have a menchi. Come, we have a menchi. Guys, they figured out where the treats are. Now they're gonna step on my keyboard and if the live stream stops, it's because man, she stepped on the keyboard. <laughs> Menchi, we gotta paint our nails, girl. I'm just gonna let her eat treats. <laughs> so next we're gonna go in with Menchi eating the treats. with a beautiful shade of uh, greenies green. <laughs> I've been replaced, but you drooled, Menchi. <laughs> Guys, help. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's like stepping on the keyboard. Menchi, here. This was the napkin that smells good. There you go. Go on. <laughs> yes. Go on. Here you go. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> she fell off the desk. Okay, where were we? Matt Taco on the unicorn skins over Flora's guava. We're going to see how it mattifies it. So, uh,. Yes, let's do this. The matte taco will take out all the shine, which sounds like it's a bad thing, but it's actually really cool when it's a unicorn skin because you end up seeing the unicorn skin shift a little better, if that makes sense. Mingle27 says, will there be a Franken polish? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we mix something special for you. Maybe we don't. <laughs> you guys can't, can't do this to me on live. You can't just keep asking questions about <laughs> what the secrets are. All right, let's pick uh, what's gonna go over a party punch. It better be glossy taco. It better be glossy taco. It better be, ah, excuse me, sir. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's glossy taco. This is not rigged. <laughs> I don't even know how to rig this. How do I rig wheelofnames.com? Imagine I own that website. <laughs> All right, so we're going in with glassy taco, which is the ideal top coat that you'd want to put over a hollow glitter. Uh, Cause you see how the hollow glitter is kind of like a little matte and textured on its own. The glossy taco will help revive, or not revive, but like bring out the holographic sparkle and make it shiny and glossy. And like you got your nails done at the salon, but you didn't cause you did them yourself. kind of deepens the color too. I like to put two coats of Glossy Taco on hollow glitters, just because the first coat in the first five minutes will seep into the glitter, since the glitter is like very thick, chunky, thick hollow glitter. 
and then you put the second one on so the second coat of glossy taco on so it gives it like a glass surface it's kind of up to you though so there's party punch with glossy taco <gasps> look at that sparkles and yes i realize we are out of stock of glossy taco currently we have super glossy taco in stock but that is only available if you uh, live in the u.s because we can only ship it domestically within the u.s because of shipping restrictions uh, but yes we're working on the regular glossy taco for international we will make announcements on holo taco when we have more information Oh, people are asking how to thin out their glossy taco. Yeah, so over time, any quick dry top coat, any good quick dry top coat, if that makes sense, hold on. Here, let me... <clears throat> the definition of a quick dry top coat is that the formula itself will dry quickly, right? With exposure to air, like once it's applied on the nail. So over time, as you continue to use a top coat, like I'm not even just talking about hollow taco, but any quick dry top coat, the more air that is in the bottle because you've used half of it, the more air is being exposed to the product itself, which means the thicker it might get because there's just like air literally in the bottle trapped with it. That's just what happens when the glossy taco is like a really good quick drying one. One thing you can do is add nail polish thinner which is not the same thing as nail polish remover. Um, I use, I currently use one by Beauty Secrets. They, OPI has one, um, Orly has one, they, a bunch of different brands have one. I would just recommend looking for one that does not contain acetone. Because if you put one with acetone in your either top coats or even like any nail polish, it could potentially ruin, like if there's a glitter one, it can ruin the glitter composition and it can kind of dull it. So you don't want to mess around with that. Um, so nail polish thinner that does not contain acetone. If it has acetone, it might do weird things like change the color. So you want to avoid that. And uh, yes, I know why people are asking if we're working on, a on our own nail polish thinner. It's something we're looking into. Mostly because of everyone's request that they just want one that works with hollow taco products. I totally get that. Uh, but in the meantime, you should be able to find one. But it is, I get that it's it's tricky because it's the nail polish thinner you want, not nail polish remover. <laughs> and we are also working on reformulating Glossy Taco, which is in part why it's it's been out of stock. Um, just to improve it, to make it better. Which is hopefully going to include things like it not getting as thick as quickly but it's a really tricky thing to do scientifically speaking <laughs> as the chemists tell me because you want it to be super quick dry but you also don't want it to dry quickly in the bottle over time that's really hard to do so we're working on that let me go back to the next one we're going to pick which top coat for the Aurora Unicorn Skin Duct Tape Gray Nail. <gasps> it's, it's matte, yes, I was hoping it was gonna be matte. Because, I'm just like, ah. You know, Glossy Taco's great over hollow, but matte over Unicorn Skin has been my vibes lately. <laughs> Every time I sw I've been swatching like a new creme, and I'll add a unicorn skin just to show a combo for like a swatch on our website. I've added a mad taco and I, every time I'm like, ooh, <laughs> it just does things. So I'll show you guys this up, up close after you'll be able to see. Matt taco takes like a couple minutes to kind of transform. Let's see if. I can show you right before your eyes. So see how it's still a little shiny? We'll just wait while I look at the chat. Uh, Cosmic Glitter had asked, 
Now that you've used Discord, are you ready to make a community server? So we are working on that. I do have a couple mods right now helping me build the server, but it's not ready yet. But I appreciate everyone who applied and um, thank you guys for th those who did. And we're, we're working on it, just a small group of people for now. And I'm definitely gonna announce that when it's ready. Yes, I see some of you are very excited. Those of you who know Discord, for those of you who have no idea what Discord is, don't worry, I will explain what it is and then it's like fun. We can have community chats. But uh, yeah, I'll explain that later. Sandra asked if we could put the wheel on Hollow Taco's website. I mean, that that's a great idea and something I'd love to do, but maybe we'd have to to make it a little more professional and like actually hire someone to make the wheels like look good rather than just grab them off wheelofnames.com. I mean, this worked for like this live stream purpose, but I I'd, I'd love to maybe think about that concept to do something cool on the website. Yeah. So matte taco is starting to dry, so you're seeing it begin to look a little bit matte. I think generally speaking, I would recommend applying a glossy taco over unicorn skins and then a matte taco in part because it helps smooth it out and also more importantly, because it will help it last longer because glossy taco as a quick dry top coat is designed to keep the nail polish in, trap it in, keep it on longer, whereas matte top coat um, isn't really the same sealant, it's more like an effect. So you want to seal it and then do the effect. But I mean, you do what you want. You could just add a matte taco and go live your life. Spin the wheel of life. Christy TM says, I'll pay 99 cents for an app of the wheel. <laughs> Would you guys pay for the app? <laughs> Uh, I want to come up, I want to figure out like how we could have a free one, but it's just, you know, it's a bunch of techie stuff. Bursu asks, are you going to take a break from YouTube again? You look tired. What is that supposed to mean? What, is, what do you mean I look tired? <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like people who join in on my live streams or even on my recent videos um, more recently see me and think I look tired because they haven't seen a video of mine in a year. And the last video they saw of mine was one where I was wearing makeup. And so I look really, well not like very different, but I do look a little bit different than when I was wearing makeup. And I think, you know, it's kind of sad that that makes you look tired not wearing makeup. Yeah, in, in case you weren't aware, I have eye rash allergies that are kind of happening still right now. They're like a little puffy and red. Um, and I guess that makes me look tired, but I think more than that, um, more than the rash itself, like I'm not putting any concealer, I'm not wearing mascara, and those things kind of make your eyes look alive. And now I, I'm, I don't look alive, I, <laughs> I look dead, I guess. Uh, I don't think I'm any more tired today than I was two years ago. Thank you guys in the chat. I don't think that chatter was trying to be rude. I think they were just, you know, just checking in. I appreciate everyone being very nice. Thank you. You guys think I look amazing? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> or maybe they just thought I needed a break, which I appreciate. And I actually haven't posted on my main channel in like three weeks, which is a, a long time for me. I used to post like once a week, maybe once every two weeks. But thank you guys. Oh, you guys are saying I'm glowing? Well, that's definitely the key light in front of me. <laughs> if we turn off the light, I'm not glowing anymore. <laughs> okay, chat, stop being so nice. What chat is this? This does not look like other chats on the internet. <laughs> If any of you guys participate in other stream chats, you know what I mean. If there was a competition for the nicest chat, I would win. Where's that? Where's our prize? All right, let's pick the next taco, which is gonna go over um, blue ain't slick and galactic unicorn skin. 
Another mad taco? Oh my god. Mad tacoing it up tonight. You know, multi-chrome mat is is pretty cool and a question I get a lot of actually. We do have a picture on the Holo Taco website. If you go to, I, I think it's the multi-chrome bundle. If you go to the multi-chrome bundle on the bundles page, there's a picture of the multi-chromes mattified and it looks so cool. Like it kind of dulls them and makes them like matte obviously, but it, it looks so different. It's really cool. Like a matte wrap on a car. What comment was from Ben's burner account? I missed it. What did the chat say? Was there a mean comment? Was there one mean comment? <laughs> Uh, Zoe, I used to watch the Young Turks when Hassan was there. It's nuts that you have that crossover. Yeah, if you go to Hassan's chat, that's totally different vibe. See, there's an example. <laughs> Actually, let me see if I can grab you a picture. Hold on, I'm on my own website. I'm going shopping. I just wanted to get the matte picture because I find that's just pretty cool. Is it on here? Do we have it on here? Oh my god, I lied. I totally lied to you. It's literally not even on the website, Christine. Okay, it's on our social media. Just ignore me. <laughs> We're gonna have to update that. Um, on our social media, there's definitely a picture of Matt. Let me see. You know how hard it is to type with wet nails? I'm like doing it one-handed, like a superhero. Oh, here, here. Oh no, Instagram won't let you see. Live stream fail. <laughs> oh, it's in the mat listing. Okay, thanks Ben. <laughs> I don't know where the pictures are. Okay. There it is, okay. So there's unicorn skin mat. That's Aurora Unicorn Skin. And there's Multichrome Matte. There you go. See? It like makes it like dull, but also really cool. Like what? I don't know how to explain that. Anyways, if you're just joining for some reason, two hours in, welcome to the Christine Figuring Out Her Website show. <laughs> we are spinning the wheel to pick my manicure. And we are almost done here. This is where we're at. I've got Lunar Unicorn Skin over the Flores Guava Mattified. So now you can start to see on the, the nails that have been mattified, you can see the unicorn skins kind of come through a little easier. I've got Party Punch as the pink hollow glitter. I've got Aurora Unicorn Skin over Duct Tape Gray. And we've got Galactic Unicorn Skin over Blue Ain't Slick. That's a lot going on right there. And then this is our last one that we've got to pick which topper to put on. But I feel like I'm going to have to make the executive decision and put a glossy taco on just because I want to demo that option. That's like the one thing that's missing is glossy taco over unicorn skin. Spin the wheel with vacation places to go. What is this? <laughs> Did Ben... Who... <laughs> Who's suggesting that? I'm not I'm not leaving the house. You think I'm going somewhere? Excuse me. 
I mean, that is a good idea for if you really want to treat yourself to go on vacation and you just can't decide. But I feel like I've decided uh, I'm not going anywhere for some, some time. Holy shit. Okay, this is... I feel like I need to do an entire manicure of this combo that I've just discovered. We need a close-up. Enhance the image. Focus on me. <gasps> wow. Hold on. We need a summary of this nail because I feel like this is a combo for the gods. This was electrostatic, which is a black linear hollow topped with solar unicorn skin, which is an orange to yellow shifting iridescent flake. And it just looks like a nebula, like a galaxy. Damn, that is so cool. And wait, wait, there's more. What if I put my phone flash? <gasps> okay, so see when you put your phone flash, it like brings out the hollow underneath so you see the rainbows. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I think I need to do an entire manicure of this. Is the chat impressed or am I alone? <laughs> Why is everyone saying tell her Ben? Sorry, I, was just, I wasn't looking at the chat. I was looking at my nails. <laughs> What's going on in the chat? What's going on? <laughs> Is there something other than nails going on? Give Ben his vacation. The borders are closed. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when um, Canada's gonna open its borders. I mean, like, technically we can leave. But we may have trouble coming back and we might have to stay in like a quarantine hotel and You know get tested and stuff which like I have no problem with I think that that's good But I just like personally I'd rather not deal with the hassle I'd rather just stay home until everything is fully open Safe and easy, you know, I am fully vaccinated Vaccinated Vax 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 summer Just send, Tess O'Neill says, just send Ben on, on a vacation and you can stay at home. Oh, but I need him to bring me my tea. Where's my tea? Okay, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna look through the chat in a, in a bit and hang out with you guys. Let me just do one final look at the wheel. And by the wheel, I mean the results, not, not the wheel itself. Okay, so here is our final, final nail look. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I want to know what your favorite combo is. Comment in the chat. Um, it's going to be hard to explain these nails since uh, there's many different things going on on each of them. But we've got the, the floor is guava nail. Party punch nail. Got the duct tape gray nail. Uh, blue ain't slick nail and then the electrostatic nail. I, I mean, like, I think I've just decided that is the winner. Like, look, at, look at that. What is going on? Thumb, thumbnail. I mean, it's only suitable that a YouTuber's thumbnail would be the best nail. <laughs> okay, like, the thumb is the winner. I'm sorry. The other combinations are definitely, like, this is really nice for summer, though. The Matt Taco Lunar. Oh, yeah. That's a spicy summer drink. This is just like hot pink girl summer. Hollow glitter all the way. 
Uh, this is for like the more neutral, neutral people in the chat. It's like, uh, you know, safe for work, but it uh, has a little extra special something. And this one is very, um, Mr. McShifty, let's call him. We got McDreamy, McSteamy, and McShifty. <laughs> and this one, this one's just out of this world. Like, what is going on? I'm going to be staring at my thumb tonight. So if you guys were painting your nails on stream and you found, you discovered a new combo, or maybe you just like had another brilliant idea about all the possibilities, make sure to use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can see the combos. I love seeing everyone's different ideas. Like people decide to layer like a linear hollow with a unicorn skin and then a hollow topper on top. It's, it's so cool to me because I feel like now that we have over 40 or 50 different nail polishes you can choose all sorts of different combinations and it, the fun kind of never ends <laughs> all right so i'm gonna look at the chat now mm. oh i'm not gonna look at the chat i'm gonna <laughs> look at the chat on my computer but not on my live stream the chat is not disabled for this live stream. I can see you, just not on the same screen. Uh, what are some, Angelina says, what are some hollow taco ideas that you had that didn't work out? Love you, sis. Well, sis, uh, what did we have that didn't work out? I feel like we answered this question on the podcast once. And I feel like there's a, there's definitely a lot of things that we've, tried to do that it's not that they didn't work out it's just that they're not ready yet so if I tell you the answer to those then you're gonna know what we're working on so I can't I can't tell you everything we're working on because I need to keep some things a secret tea infused nail polish what does that even mean <laughs> maybe tea inspired but not tea infused Oh, the nail oil pen. Yeah. But again, that that's going to come out eventually. I apologize. Yes, I know. You've seen this for like a year. <laughs> we have been working on a nail oil pen. We have not released it yet. And that's just because I am a perfectionist and nail oil is like the name of my game. It's how I care for my nails and I want to make sure it is completely perfect. So I test the formula for like a year. Uh, but it's not just the formula I have to think about. The formula we have perfect. It's exactly the way I want it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And the ingredients will be listed straight up. So you'll know exactly what goes in it. And like there isn't some proprietary formula. It's literally the formula that I've told you guys that I want to be in it. <laughs> so in theory, you can make it yourself. But what people have been asking us for is for a pen, an easy way to apply it something that looks cool, something that holds a lot of oil, something that's easy to use, something that gets under your nails. Uh, so that's what we're working on. That's been the challenge. We might have to change like some of the, the mechanics, like there's mechanical stuff in here, but yeah. I feel like you, you've already seen this, but yeah, it's like a pen with a brush tip and oil, I can oil my head. There you go. Pat, 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 subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh. No, I don't want a rollerball. Someone suggested that. I, I don't like rollerballs because if your nails are wet, and this is a very rare circumstance, but if your nails are wet and you have a rollerball and you roll it, like you're just gonna ruin your manicure. Uh, it's not as precise. I find the brush tip pen is like flexible and it allows me to just do the tiny bits around even when my nails are maybe a little bit wet. It allows me to get under the nail easily, which is very hard to do with the roller ball if you have like curvy or skinny nails like I do. So I'm not a fan of the roller ball. Uh, it is not refillable for many reasons, which I tried because they all break. The way of putting it is, is all of these, not all of them, most of these like pen prototypes I've tested 
you can disassemble them. Technically, you can like pull them apart and refill them, but that doesn't mean that they're not gonna maybe break. So while some companies sell you a pen and call it refillable, it might break. And even though like I could do that, I'm not selling a product that might break on you. Does that make sense? Like the contraptions are so finicky that when you start to take them apart, they risk breaking. So that's kind of my conclusion. Um, it is what it is, but what I did instead is I've made the pen insides more than double the size of the average nail oil pen. So that way it holds more oil so it lasts more than twice as long depending on how frequently you use it. Okay, now I'm giving just way too much information, but every point you guys are bringing up is an excellent point and we will definitely address that when it is finally released. We are still working on it though. What, what is this? What did Ben pin? Why, why is Simply Not Logical showcasing banana hacks? Ben, <laughs> who did that? Is that Ben? Just Ben, you know, wishing that we named it after him. Does Ben wish he had his own nail polish? Hmm? Do you guys want Ben to have his own nail polish? I'm seeing bananas in the chat. Uh-oh. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm seeing yeses and bananas. <laughs> ben, I think you're gonna need your own nail polish. I mean, it's only fair. Menchie and Zyler have theirs. No, it will not be hummus. <laughs> what if we just actually put hummus in a bottle? <laughs> you guys, I mean, maybe for April Fools. <laughs> okay, chat, calm down. We are not putting hummus in a bottle or Fiji water or bananas, like actual bananas. But I I'm going to think of something. I'm going to think of something for Ben's nail polish. Yeah. Gamer Ben nail polish. What does that mean? Like Donkey Kong? <laughs> Ben's blood. Come no. <laughs> the pro yeah, the proceeds go to Ben's vacation. That's a great idea, Janet. That's what we'll do. I mean, with all the ideas, I feel like Ben needs his an entire collection. <laughs> Ben's a boo boo. <laughs> There's so much that can go wrong here. I'm not sure I want to give up creative control to Ben to pick his nail polish. You know, I feel like if we did it, I would be picking it. I, <laughs> I would be signing off on it and have the final decision. But he he could model it. He could have some input. I would definitely listen to his requests. <laughs> I'm not naming it hummus. <laughs> but yeah, definitely thinking about something for, for ban. Do your taxes, Nails. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll just put him on a billboard again for his next announcement. How's that? Ben's lunch break collection. Oh my God, lunch break at our house is, uh, it, well, it doesn't really exist because we, we work and live at home as maybe many of you still are doing in this era. So I've been eating lunch at like 3 p.m. sometimes, but by lunch break, it's like go downstairs to kitchen, find food, go back upstairs to computer. <laughs> it's a weird world we're living in now. Do you love Justin Trudeau? Asks Philida. Philida? Uh, that's a weird question. I don't know. Like, he's my boss. <laughs> I don't love him. <laughs> How short will you be cutting your hair when you reach three mil subs? Asks Lars. Um, I have to be honest with you that I am a little sick of my long hair. I'll update you on its length. Like that, this is ridiculous, right? It's kind of getting crazy. 
my hair goes down to my butt. <laughs> So I definitely need to cut it and I feel like I could make do with um, deleting six inches at, at least like that. Like I would cut that off and it would still be really long and I'd be happy that I didn't lose too much of it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I picked the three million sub goal knowing that it's a really long time away and maybe not gonna happen because there's also attrition from larger YouTube channels that have been around for a while. I played you. I'm never cutting my hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I do want to cut it on stream, though. I think that would be funny. I think maybe we need, like, another non-sub goal. A goal to reach that will uh, incentivize me to do things like cut my hair, shave Ben's mustache, you know, other things that I want to do. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for non-subscriber related goals, because subscribers on my YouTube channel, it's just tough when my channel's already been around for so many years. Like if I was a new channel, it's definitely easier to move up in sub goal milestones. Um, but yeah, with attrition, like occasionally YouTube will delete old accounts as they have always done that are like inactive. So that kind of results in a bit of a negative. So we're fighting against that. That's just normal. Amount of live views, live views, yeah. But that would require people sharing the live to friends or like people who haven't seen the stream before. So I'm pretty sure that most of you here watch most of the streams. I don't know, maybe maybe we can do a poll. Let's do a poll. Um, I'm gonna make a poll first or second time here. And then the answer is gonna be, uh, Yes, uh, no been here three plus times. So I'm gonna ask you guys how many streams you've attended here, just to get an idea of, you know, how many of you are new or how many of you are like, you know, I'm always here, girl. So answer in the chat, in the live chat, you'll see a poll first or second time here. If the answer is, I, I'm a terrible surveyist, but, uh, yeah, you've either been here just the first or second time, yes, or no, you've been here three or more times. And we'll see. See, I keep I keep sitting on my hair. My hair keeps getting trapped in the chair behind me, so I have to like go like this. <laughs> so, so far I'm seeing, yeah, been here three plus times is definitely leading by far. And, and that makes sense to me uh, based on my analytics too that I've looked back at my past streams that most of my viewers are returning viewers. So most of you guys are here because you love it. You come back for more and uh, new people have not discovered the hollow, obviously. So that's why we're here. So make sure you tell a friend <laughs> about hollow. <laughs> but yeah, it's still... Here, uh, I'll keep... I'll let the poll go for another... 30 seconds maybe. So if you haven't answered, you're probably new. Cause maybe you, you don't participate. Maybe you're a lurker. I know there's a lot of lurkers who never comment. That's me on streams, I know. But I'm trying to do a better job when I'm on streams, like other people's streams to participate and just comment, drop a like, say hi, subscribe if I'm not. Just like, cause that's just fun, you know? Community is fun. All right, so I'll end the poll. And well, so over a third are somewhat new here, whether it's your first or second time. So thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. We're basically at the end of the stream now. I've been going for almost two hours, which isn't that long in the stream sphere where we have people who stream for like 12 hours a day. Which YouTuber would I let cut my hair? Oh my God. Uh, suggest in the chat who I would let cut my hair. Who I should let. I feel like I don't trust anyone though. If you tell me a hair YouTuber, I'm gonna be skeptical. Because those hair YouTubers, man, they are relentless. They will do anything for clickbait. And what if they just like shave my head? <laughs> I would not be okay. 
Sophia. I did give permission to Sophia. Julian, <laughs> Julian. Julian would like shave the sides of my head, but like leave the top this long. Imagine. <laughs> Brad Mondo, I'm I'm terrified that he would just cut my hair into a bob and bleach it. That's what he would do, right? Threadbanger, my hair would be purple. Corinne would just dye it purple. <laughs> Nikki tutorials. <laughs> she would just dye her hair to look like her. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. I think I'd look pretty cute as a Nikki tutorials. <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Joanna Sadia. Mm-hmm. My eczema buddy. Kaylee Melissa. Okay, that's actually a, a good recommendation because she is a hairstylist and I've seen her work. I, I would let her. I think I would trust her. And yes, I see a lot of Jenna marbles. I would let her cut my hair off camera. Susie from Nail Career Education. Why? She's nails, guys, not hair. <laughs> Although she she shared a picture of some cool 80s hair. So maybe that'd be good. Troom Troom. I don't think so, Melon. <laughs> the blue-eyed girl. Yeah, no. You guys are naming people who aren't hairstylists. Like five minute crafts are not gonna cut my hair. Philip DeFranco. Yeah, in, in today's news, I caught Simply Neological's hair after, you know, 12 years of her needing a haircut. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think it's almost time to wrap it up, to wrap up the stream. I want to thank everyone for coming out, for painting your nails with me. And don't forget, if you painted your nails in some cool combination that I have not yet discovered, to use hashtag paint with simply on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, uh, actually, not Snapchat. The <laughs> hashtag's no way there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, everywhere where hashtags exist because I love looking through them and I repost them. And I want to see your combos. So I always discover something new. I feel like... I I just found a new combo that makes me want to replace all my nails with this this thumb thumb combo here. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this fun Simply Stream Sunday. I feel like there's definitely a use for this internet wheel in the future. There could be a whole bunch of other fun games we do, other options like where is my new cat? Uh, oh, and can we get a big thank you to the mods? Thank you so much to our three new mods. Um, we've got Procrastination. We've got Hollow Combo and Melon Nail Art. And you guys can check them out on Instagram. At the Their handles are, I believe, almost exactly the same as their name appears in the chat. So thank them so much for spending the last couple hours with me. And um, yeah taking care of our chat, answering your questions. I noticed that they were helping you guys out during the chat, during the live stream. So that's that's amazing. I'm really appreciative to have people in the community who just want to help out. And I think it will be good in the future to have that support because it allows me to not have to, you know, worry too much about things going wrong in the chat if I have someone else helping out. And it also allows for Ben to come on stream when he needs to if someone else is helping out moderator. So, and as these live chats get, you know, lots of activity, even on slow mode, it always helps to have a few different sets of eyes reading the comments. Although everyone's amazing though. Like everyone in the chat is so sweet and no one, no one says anything rude. No mean comments detected. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great time on this Simply live stream, and I will see you next week, same place, same time. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing next week, but I will be sure to let you know on my socials. So you can follow me everywhere. Uh, simply nail logical, nail logical, simply not logical, simply pod logical, simply fit logical. What am I missing? <laughs> Menchie the cat, Tyler the cat. <laughs> Just listing all my social media accounts. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll stream y'all later. Bye.